Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the GPU instance of Unity Asset to instance the prefabs that you already have in your scene. I have a simple Unity scene set up here with some props. I have a spaceship so that we can fly around. I have a camera rig that basically follows this spaceship around. The asteroids in the scene are prefabs with LOD groups. Each LOD group has two LODs defined on it and nothing else. I have already also downloaded the GPU Instancer asset. When you download GPU Instancer, you will have a GPU Instancer menu. To instance these asteroids, all I have to do is to add a prefab manager. When you add the prefab manager, it will auto-detect your camera. GPU Instancer is designed to be an out-of-the-box experience and it's designed to be very simple to use. In this case, it detected the main camera in the camera rig. You can also choose a different camera from the scene. Once you add the prefab manager, all you have to do is to add the prefabs by dragging and dropping them on the prefab manager. As you add these prefabs, GPU Instancer will show you the instance count for the instances that you have in the scene. We have a total of three types of prefabs and we added all of them. There is a total of 10,000 prefabs in the scene. As you add these to the GPU Instancer Prefab Manager, you will see that GPU Instancer adds a simple script to your prefabs. This is to keep track of the prefabs at runtime. Because you add the prefabs for the first time, GPU Instancer will automatically register them, so there is nothing else you have to do. We can run the scene at this point, and you will see that these 10,000 asteroids will be GPU instanced. We can fly around, and we have a, a thousand FPS right now. In the prefab manager menu, you will see a question mark. At any time, you can press this question mark and you will have a description showing for each item that you have in the menu. As you click these prefabs, you will see some options. These should be self-explanatory, but let's go over them. You can choose if your prefabs will be shadow casting or not. You can choose also that GPU instances should use frost and culling or not. Let's run the scene again. GPU instancer uses frost and culling in the GPU, which is designed for performance. As you can see, when I'm flying around, only the prefabs that are in my camera's frost and are being rendered. The option that you have for each prefab here disables and enables this option. The frustum offset is a buffer that you have near the frustum edges. If I open this up a bit or close it down, you will see that the frustum is getting bigger or smaller. This is to help with the graphics card to catch up with the performance of the GPU. What this means is that if you have too many objects in the scene, sometimes it can be the case that the GPU cannot catch up with the rendering time. In this case, we don't have such an issue. But if we had one, 
you will see that as we turn around, the objects in the outer frosting will be rendered less. For more information, you can always check the question mark. The max distance here should be self-explanatory. This is the distance in which the prefabs will be visible and rendered. We also have the option to manipulate these instances at runtime. And this checkbox helps with this option. We will talk about this in another video. But for now, it suffices to say that if you enable this option, you will be able to add and remove your instances from code. If you delete, you will delete the prefab from this GPU Instancer Manager. It doesn't mean that you delete your prefabs, obviously. If you want to add this again, all you have to do is to drag and drop your prefab again to the manager. When you add your instances, instance counts will be automatically registered. Suppose you want to add more instances of these asteroids. Let's duplicate this and wait for Unity to complete this operation. Let's move these asteroids a bit to the top and rotate them a bit. Now you will see that the GPU instances, instance counts haven't changed because if you change the instances after you register these prototypes, you have to register them again with this button. GPU instances has updated our prefabs. Now we have 20,000 asteroids in the scene. If you run the scene, there will be instances with the options that we have selected for each of them. In the next tutorial, we will add a script here to generate these asteroids from code at runtime. This will help with the performance of the Unity Editor and expand the options you have when you want GPU instancing to use GPU instancing with the highest possible performance. Thank you for watching.